guys, it's Rochelle and we're here to do another quick device review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a new one from iJoy and this is the Avenger Baby. It does have a couple different options than the original including an updated voice command menu. So let's go ahead, drop down below, I'll give you a look at the new menu and its options and then we'll come up top and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick look at the iJoy Avenger Baby. This is new onto the market. This has a 108 output. It does come with two uh, 20 350 batteries. You do have the Diamond Baby tank, as you guys can see. I've been using it for a couple days. It does come with a pre-installed 0.18 mesh coil. Love that. And then you do get a spare um, 0.15. Uh, you're going to get your... Um, USB cable and your warranty in the box, plus a spare glass, which is right there. And then these, look at how tiny these little boxes are. Aren't these absolutely cute? I'm going to show you those batteries. And then your extra O-rings, your extra coil, and your USB cable like we talked about. But let me go, and go ahead and show you the mod up close. It looks just like this. I have the one in gold. This is the back. One thing I, I don't like about this finish, it is a fingerprint magnet. Um, I did do a review of the Diamond Tank with the Zenith 3. So I will link that video at the end if you want to see a little bit more about that. That's, this is just a smaller version of it. Again, um, you can, uh, let's see if we can get this to light up. Yes, I've got another accident on my fingers. It, it's been happening a lot. So, very, very nice and compact. You do have your battery venting on the bottom. Your up and down um, buttons are right there. And then your fire button is on the side. I do want to show you what these little itty teeny by what these little baby batteries look like. These are um, 1400 mAh a piece, 25 amps. Super cute there. And the battery door is nice and secure, I will tell you that. Again, I've been using this for a couple days. I wanted to make sure I got a good grasp of it. I actually have the original Venger, or received the original Venger uh, a while back, and um, never reviewed it. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Um, I think the whole voice command thing was weird. So, five clicks to turn it on is normal. And then you do, you can see the microphones on there, and then three clicks to get into the menu. In your menu there, you're going to get your puff counter. You can put it in pod mode. That means you can use these mouth to lung devices where uh, your wattage is gonna be 2.5 um, to 3.5. Um, let's go ahead and go over here. You can actually go into your settings where you can change your colors if you want and also turn on that voice command. As you can see, it's hearing my voice as we speak. Let's go back that way. Didn't mean to do that. And then you obviously you have your temperature control mode um, and your other additional settings in there. Where's your clock? And you can set the different functions of your voice. But so standard kind of um, thing there. You can either turn your voice on, and we are going to because basically, um, you know, it's a standard menu. And but I did want to share with you their updated voice commands. So. In debating to do this whole review was I was really skeptical of the doing the voice but we're gonna go ahead and do it now because now you can do particular wattages versus the old one where you could not so we're gonna say hello iJoy you can see that voice um, mic came up soft mode normal mode hard mode lock device Unlock device. Power high. 20 watts. 30 watts. 40 watts. 50 watts. 60 watts. 70 watts. 80 watts. 90 watts. Power low. Power low, 50 watts. Now the coil that's in here is rated for uh, 40 to 80, so I, I like it at 50. Auto watt, so it's gonna determine the wattage best for this. Turn on light, then you're gonna turn your light on. Music light, 
oh my gosh I am so not a singer but as you can see while I'm talking it is flickering so if you're playing music it's gonna do that light off and the light went off oh no hello iJoy light off hello iJoy normal mode so back to where I like it. So again, if you are not talking for quite a little bit, it will, you know, get out of voice command mode. So all you have to do is say, hello, I joy, and that mic will come back up for you. So hello, I joy. Pretty nice that you don't have to say hello, I joy consistently once you're in there until it goes into kind of like a, um, standby mode but for me I loved the diamond tank when I used it with the Z3 um, and I'm loving how compact this is and considering it is two, two, um, 2350 batteries I put them um, in this morning and it's been about six hours and I still have over a half a battery life it's pretty decent um, you can use bigger um, tanks on this you can go up to 25 millimeters easily so I could actually put a regular diamond tank if I wanted to on that I can show you that as well let's go ahead and twist this off again this material does collect some fingerprints so <laughs> it does come in 11 colors so I would say if that's something that's um, annoying to you you do have plenty of different options to try that but this um, tank right here is 25 millimeters it looks kind of awkward because it is taller, but this is the diamond, um, regular diamond, and still looks decent. So if you're looking for a bigger um, mill capacity, you can definitely use a bigger tank. And as I said, for those of you who like your mouth-to-lung devices, um, it does have that pod mode for you to change it um, voltage-wise to use those mouth-to-lung devices. So... After using it for a few days, I definitely have some thoughts, so I'm going to come up top and give those to you, and I will see you then. So I hope you liked that quick drop down below. Let's go ahead and take a vape, because it's been a long one. Flavor on the coils for the Diamond Take are absolutely amazing. The only con I have about that tank, and the same with the last one, is it is a little noisy and a little whistly. Other than that, flavor is great, look of it's great, really do enjoy it. As for the mod itself, at first I thought the whole voice command thing is really, really gimmicky, but considering the amount of time I spend on the road going to and from work, to and from school, I could see it as an actual advantage. I'm not having to look at my mod in order to tell it to, you know, either turn the lights on or power it up or power it down. So it's definitely a nice safety feature, and that's what I think it is. I think it's a safety feature or for someone who really just wants something that's kind of cool and different and innovative. Um, the look of the mod is absolutely amazing. I love those dual three... three 2350 why can't I say 2350 batteries they're super cute and they last a long time the overall hand feel and design of this mod was really well thought out I think it's great for on the go I'm not so, and you know if to me especially because it can take larger tanks I think if this little tank is not something for you, you could definitely upgrade to the larger um, milk capacity diamond tank but for me, having the option to upgrade to tanks, you normally, when they, um, they size these mods down, you really don't have too many options on the ability to, um, you know, increase the tank amount without looking absolutely ridiculous. But I can definitely see this in an RDA. It has a max output of 108 watts. At 50 watts on this, and this is where I've been vaping it for the last six hours, I'm still at half a battery, and I think it's, it's something I could do all day because I'm not a heavy vapor. Um, and the, the battery is actually charged up pretty quickly, so I like that as well. So for me, this is definitely a win. I think you're going to get, um, you know, used out of the voice commands, if, especially if you're on the go like me. Or it's just something completely different, and the style of the mod is definitely two thumbs up. So I hope you like this quick device review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments you have down below. And as always, I hope you're having an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Stay tuned to the next video, and until then... Vape on.